Hey y'all. So as you can hear, we've got a lot of construction still going on. It'll end soon, I hope. You'll hear saws and people talking and everything. We are so excited to show you what we're doing. And we'll have a video on that soon. Hopefully it will be done. Two more weeks, right? <laughs> That's what, if you've not watched the movie Money Pit, you need to go watch it. It's fun. I think we're watching it this afternoon. It's a rainy day here at the farm and um, the lake is beautiful. It looks so pretty. I love rainy days. Sweet Hunter's gone for a little while for some errands. A friend of ours told us about a good deal on some bacon, so he's going to get that and a couple of other things. But while he's gone, I thought I would make some queso dip. I'm going to make it a special way where it'll be a full meal, so let's get to cooking. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to use some ground beef. I'm probably going to use about half of this because I'm making this a cheese dip a full meal for us. So I'm going to start by browning my ground beef. Now, I don't know about you, but I love Mexican. Uh, we both do. It's our favorite thing. So I'm going to go ahead and brown all of this, but I won't use it just for this. I use about half of this, but while I'm messing up a pan, I'm going to go ahead and mess up a pan. If you see lights blinking on and off, y'all, it's just our carpenters working, and I don't know why it's pulling so much power, all their tools. Now, I have the fancy little tool that breaks up your meat, but I have found that I love this one the best. I just, I just, it just does great for me. The little plastic one is hard to clean to me, and I won't say the brand, and I know a lot of you like it, but it's got little things all the way around it, and it's so hard to clean. This is not. This just works out better for me. Now, just so you know, you do not have to add ground beef, but if you do want some meat, you can add chicken, steak, you can add anything you want. But I'm just adding some ground beef. And if you just want it as a cheese dip, don't add any meat at all. Now, this is about done, so I'm going to take this and drain it really good. Remove it from the pan. All I do is just place a paper towel over a paper plate. I'm about out of paper plates. These paper plates are from... Christmas from the holidays. I'm not sure I'm going to be buying anymore because they are so expensive, y'all. But this is my fine china and I love using them. So I've got all my, almost all my ground beef out. What I'm going to do is wipe out my pan and get rid of the grease and I'm just going to reuse this pan. I'm going to let this drain for just a little while. So here I just want to show you what I'm using. I'm using, I'm using mozzarella. I'm using what I have, some white American cheddar from the deli. Uh, I'm using evaporated milk. I'm using cornstarch, red pepper flakes, chili powder, nutmeg, and I'm using some of these little green chilies, but you can use jalapenos. I'm using the mild. So the first thing I'm going to do is open my evaporated milk. I use the whole can. It's a 12 ounce can. I'm going to open it. I've already washed the lid. If you don't wash the lid, you need to talk to a grocery store person and they will tell you you need to wash all your lids before you open them. Just a hint. So I'm using the same pan. I have wiped out the grease and poured it off and I just don't want to mess up another pan. What I'm doing is just pouring my evaporated milk in the pan and turning my eye on. I'm going to turn it on medium. And I'm going to warm this milk up. I don't want it boiling, but I want it warm. So in the meantime, I'm going to cut up my American cheese in just little bitty squares. And I bought my mozzarella just already shredded. I know a lot of people don't like that, but for convenience sake, it's very good. You can use any cheese. This is my favorite ones to use in a white queso dip. I'm going to chop this cheese up. Now, don't forget your milk on the stove that's warming. We don't want it to burn or scorch or boil. We do not want that. I'm just chopping this cheese up where it'll be simpler to melt. Don't forget that the recipe will be in the description box, although you can wing it just like I am. And honestly, that makes it a lot of fun. Now you can see my evaporated milk is warming up. I do not want it to boil. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to add 
one tablespoon of cornstarch into my milk. I'm pretty sure that's about a tablespoon. And all this does, it's a thickener. It's going to thicken our milk. We're just going to stir this in. You can use a whisk if you'd like. I'm just trying not to mess up any more dishes. That's what I do. Now, if you want to use half and half, you can use half and half. Improvise in your kitchen. That's I encourage you all to do whatever you want to do and whatever you think will work. I just give you kind of uh, the guidelines of the recipe. So I'm just stirring this up to get it thick. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start adding my cheese. And you can see this milk thickening up. This is half a pound. I believe the recipe calls for three quarters of a pound. But I'm telling you, just use what you have. Even use a different kind of cheese if you'd like. Now, at this point, you want to keep this on low and stir constantly. I'm going to go ahead and open my mozzarella where it can be melting too. And this is a 16-ounce package. And I think it says to use about four ounces. I'm just guessing at that. We love cheese, so... I've got some pepper jack I was thinking about throwing in here. But I think this will be plenty for us. You just want to stir it constantly. Now what we're doing, our cheese is melted. You want to stir that the whole time. It's good. It's really thick. If you feel like your cheese dip is too thick, add a little more milk to it. You can add half and half milk, evaporated milk, whatever you want. I'm using the same measuring spoon with the cornstarch on it, and I'm adding two tablespoons of these uh, green chili peppers. You can add uh, jalapenos if you like it. You can add hot, anything that, if you like heat, add more, more or less, it does not matter. And just stir that up. Next, I'm adding our chili powder. It calls for one teaspoon. I don't even know if this measuring, you know what this measuring spoon says on it? A pinch of bliss. My niece gave this these to me and I love them but I think it's a teaspoon, but I'm going to add a good heaping teaspoon. You know what? It may not be a teaspoon. Let's add a little bit more of chili powder, and we're just going to stir that up. Now, this is still on low, and you want to keep that cheese moving. Now, a lot of people don't like nutmeg. I want to get the actual nut and, um, and grate it, but... I like a little bit of nutmeg in anything Mexican, so I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of this, guessing, and stir it up. Next, I'm adding red pepper flakes. You can add as much or as little as you want. I'm going to add about half a teaspoon. I don't want it too hot, but I want it a little heat. So, And I'm just going to stir this up. And you can adjust all this when you taste of it. Keep stirring it. You don't want it to stick or burn. Now, I'm going to add some salt and some pepper. More pepper than salt because cheese has salt in it. So now I'm going to do a taste test of my cheese. I think it needs a little more chili powder. So I'm going to add that. I'm going to add a little more of everything except the nutmeg. And just stir it up. Now, it's just Sweet Hunter and I, so uh, that's why I can do a taste test with a spoon, the same spoon. It's just us, and he doesn't mind, and I don't mind. Now, it's perfect. It's delicious. I've got these little iron skillets on the wall right here. That's what I'm going to serve mine in, or these little skillets here. I'm going to heat them in the oven. I'm going to spray it real good. I'm going to add my ground beef in, and I'm going to top this with more cheese. And you'll see as we go along. Okay, I've got these washed. I wanted to tell you, my cousins Larry and Bentley gave me these, and I treasure these. I love them so these much. These are actually little iron skillets. I love my iron skillets, any of my iron skillets. There's some I haven't even showed you. Uh, for example, the wok that a friend told me about. <laughs> I've never even showed it. I've got to show it. I've got to cook in it. Which I have cooked in it, but haven't showed it on video. Now, you don't have to have these little iron skillets. You can put it in a big iron skillet and serve it like that. Uh, sometimes we do. Let me show you what we do sometimes. 
Uh, where is it? This is an iron skillet I love to do pizza or something like that in. I love to uh, put the dip in it, and we'll just set this on the table and eat right out of it. We'll use chips or tortillas. Today we're using tortillas. As you can see here, I'm just adding some ground beef that I've already browned. Now you can serve this in anything, bowls, anything. It doesn't have to be an iron skillet. So I have my kitchen clean. I've got Sweet Hunter, a Coke in the freezer in the bottle. If you want to brown the cheese dip, you can in the oven. I'm probably not going to. Uh, and I'm serving mine with tortillas. Now you can always rewarm your cheese dip if it's too thick, just thin it with a little milk. Uh, but if you do your tortillas ahead of time, make sure and keep them wrapped in a warm, moist towel. Now, you can heat your tortillas up any way you want. I think you can even do it in the microwave. I just use a little iron skillet and just heat them on both sides and then wrap them up. Sweet hunters home. Honey, I'm home. What we got on the stove there? Smells good. Uh, we are having queso dip with ground beef. I love to use mozzarella. I love the way it melts and the creaminess of it. I'm topping my cheese dip with mozzarella also. I'm also topping the mozzarella with sour cream. And then I'm adding pico on top of that. I have to be careful on his because he doesn't like onions, but I wanted the cilantro and the tomatoes on his. Me, I love it all. I love pico. So this is how I'm serving it today. I roll up the heated tortillas and just serve them with the cheese dip. This is a full meal, y'all. It's delicious. Y'all, I've had a lot of fun with y'all in the kitchen today. This was so good. I hope you try it. Thank y'all for watching, and y'all go cook something.